as you jump into the game. So all you need to do is uh, hit the start button. Oops. I wonder if we switched. Yep, okay, that's fine. All right, I'll jump in as you, okay. So while I sign, I sign into my profile. And I have a couple pre-generated characters, so I'll play a different one than you. And instantly I am in the uh, game world here. So basically, um, your combat arts are going to show up here on the left side, and you just use the uh, four uh, color buttons to um, call the special powers. Um, the A button for you is, a, is an attack right now, but it's totally uh, customizable and configurable. And so we're tethered together. Kind of exploring the world. I don't have to select an enemy, it kind of automatically selects my closest enemy to me. Ah, I died again. For your uh, combat arts, um, basically you have a total of 15 combat arts that are available to you. They're all in different aspects. Uh, so all the ones in one grouping are related to each other. And you can customize each of these. So for example, this attack right here, um, I can choose as I level up uh, whether I want to, uh, typically the choices are do I want to do more damage immediately or do I want to do more long or sustain like a slow bleed or poisonous damage or do I want to do more of a wide wider area uh, damage. And each of those has basically three either or choices. So when you're completely leveled up, you have a very, very powerful type of attack that you can completely customize. And even if you were to meet the same character type in the game as you, it would have very different functionality. Some of the other cool things you can do is you can chain combat arts together. So for example, if I want to have a, a one, two attack, I could do that. I just select the items I want right here. And then I would map that to my keyboard. So talking about the mapping, or I'm sorry, to your controller, uh, if I want to have these powers at my disposal, all I do is simply select. Uh, and then I can, uh, using the trigger, cycle through, and I have a total of basically 12 slots that I can choose. And uh, all I would do then is just map it here. It'll appear, and now in my combat interface right here, you see that now I have that capability that I can use. So again, also one of the other things to note, in addition to all the detail that's in here, um, each of the region has very distinct sound effects. So there's a randomized sound effects. So whether I'm here during the daylight or at night, I'm going to hear different things. Uh, if I'm in the desert, I'm going to hear something completely different than if I'm in this, uh, in this jungle room. Uh, if monsters attack me, the music will also pick up the pace. So I really want to make sure that it's kind of a full surround experience, not only visually, but also uh, 